Hello, and this is a guide on how to find your crash report from Minecraft. Um, so this is specifically designed for Podcast Plus, but works with any version of Minecraft, unless significant changes are made to it. And in general, this was, this will work. So, uh, the first thing is, this is going to be, first we're going to cover Windows, then we're going to cover Linux and Mac. Uh, on Windows, the first thing you want to do um, is find your app data folder. The app data folder is by default a hidden folder. So uh, for me, I can see it here in your user and then app data. However, this is a hidden folder. You'll notice how the icon is grayed out. If I just expand this, the icon's grayed out, meaning that it's by default hidden. Um, there's a couple of ways to make it to make you able to see hidden folders. Like, don't be surprised if you can't see this by default, where you just, in Windows Explorer, which is this folder app you see here, you press view and then check off hidden items uh, to see it. So that very much helps you because it, in general, uh, AppData is a very useful folder to be able to see. And then inside AppData, you go to roaming and .minecraft to get to Minecraft's data folder. Um, and that's then there should be a folder inside called crash reports. Here I have an example crash report. Uh, which gives operating system details and such. And the way you want to do this is if you want a support channel, one sec, uh, let's say, hey, oops, plus support. Yes, you type plus support. Yes, hi, I'm in an example tutorial. Here's my crash report. So the crash report, you'll notice, there, in case you have more than one here, because this one's an example, I haven't actually crashed with this Minecraft installation yet. Uh, this Minecraft is, has, the crash report goes clearly by date, or date, so year, month, day, underscore, and then the time of day, dash client.txt. That's the folder. You might not see the txt if you don't have file extensions enabled, but it always goes crash dash 20 and then the date. Uh, and then the time. So, if you want, there are two ways now to uh, upload it to Discord. Obviously, you can uplo upload it as a file. If you just go to your app data folder and roaming and crash reports, you can upload it like that. Or, uh, so you don't have to open it again, you can just drag it into your Discord. And then upload. Uh, now, if you want to find your crash report on any operating system. This works for all operating systems. Uh, there's a slower and worse way because this can actually cause a crash. It's kind of funny if you're trying to find your crash reports folder, this can cause a crash. Uh, if your resource packs or your Minecraft's particularly slow or not enough memory, where you can press options, resource packs, and click open resource pack folder, you'll see it opens app data roaming dot Minecraft and then resource packs. So then you can just click dot Minecraft and then find crash reports from there. If this folder doesn't exist, or there's a file not corresponding to the date, that means that you probably don't have a crash report uh, because the game isn't actually sure what caused it. In that case, the best thing you can do to help uh, is go to logs, and there's a file. Uh, there's two files, log.gz and latest.log. Log.gz corresponds to, uh, you'll see this is using that same date system. This is the logs of that specific day listed. This is the first, in this case, it's the first log of January 2nd of uh, 2019. The dash one is for the first log there. So in this case, uh, there's a file called latest.log, which is the last time your Minecraft opened. Now you shouldn't need to post this unless you have, you can't find a crash report. Uh, if you have posted a crash report, you should be fine. Um, so yeah. Uh, on Mac, notice that there's no app data folder, so you have to use the open resource pack folder method. On Linux, uh, you can more than likely just use, uh, it corresponds to user.minecraft, and that's a very easy folder to find on Linux if you ever need it. So that's how you find your crash report.